my YouTube friends. Now, I don't know about you, but when I start to live stream, I've got like 15 different applications that I need to open. You know, we've got Snap Camera and Voice Mod and Streamer Bot and Social Stream Ninja, and there are like five other ones. And I gotta have a stinking checklist just to figure everything out. It could take me 20 minutes to start up all the applications and be ready to stream. But now there's a solution and you're not even gonna believe how awesome this is. I got a plugin I'm gonna share with you today that's totally free and solves all that with the click of one button. So you can be ready to stream in 30 seconds. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about today so you know what? Let's get to it! It's a really, really simple and totally free plugin that goes into OBS. Takes 30 seconds to install. There are links down below in the description because you definitely want to check it out. Let me show you how. Here's the page we're going to download this from. So we're just going to go over here into downloads and it's going to automatically bring it onto our system. And it's just a simple zip file. So then we're going to go into our downloads and I'm just going to unzip this. So I'm going to right click and go to extract all and extract. And then I'm going to go in here and you can see we just have auto starter DLL. So we're going to right click and we're going to copy that. Then we're going to find our OBS directory. So yours is probably going to be in C program files. Mine is not. And this is it, OBS Studio. And then we're going to go to OBS Plugins. And then we're going to go to 64-bit. And all we have to do is right click and paste. So now it's installed. All we have to do is restart OBS and we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, so now that we're in OBS and we have it loaded, we're gonna go to tools and we're gonna go to auto starter. And it's pretty simple here. You can enable it so it comes up every time you start OBS. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we can add a loadout. So you can have a different loadout for your default when you come into OBS. And you can have one for live streams. You can have one for recording. If you have a lot of different applications that you have to open for multiple different streams, you can name the different streams. So what I'm going to do is I have one live stream. We're going to call this live stream. And I would create probably two, one for live streaming and one for just recording. So we're going to add for our live stream. And then we want to go ahead down here. And of course it says ask on launch. You can uncheck that. It'll automatically open these at launch without asking. We're going to let it ask. And so we can also have it auto close once you exit. And we're going to leave that unchecked for now. I'm going to go ahead and add an application. And some of these are pretty easy to find just on our desktop. So I'm going to go there first. And so the first one that I'm going to add is going to be our snap camera and boom. So now snap camera is going to open up when we open OBS. Now let's add a second one. I know that streamer bot also shows up here and it's right there. So we're going to go ahead and add our streamer bot. Now there are two other things I want. I want voice mod. So we're going to add that and I know that the shortcut doesn't show up on our desktop. So we're going to have to go into program files. Pretty simple. C program files. And we're going to scroll down here to our voice mod version 3. And I'm just going to select the voice mod exe and click open. And the last one's going to be social stream ninja. So I'm going to add that one. And we're going to go back into program files. And it's right here, social stream. And all we have to do is come down here and select social stream right there click open, boom. Now we have it populated with the applications that we're going to want to go ahead and run when OBS starts so we can be ready to live stream immediately. Now we can launch these apps even after we've already opened up OBS by clicking launch app and boom, there we go. We've got snap camera, we've got streamer bot, we've got social stream ninja, we have voice mod. Awesome. Now you can have it open minimized if you want. Some of them just do that automatically like you saw voice mod just did. We can also just click this button and it will close all of these apps. Boom, all closed. None of them are down here in the tray. They're all gone. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and save out that loadout and we can go verify that everything's saved just by going into auto starter. You can see enable, all of this stuff is there and ask on launch. Everything is there exactly how we set it up. So let's go ahead and close out of OBS for a moment. And then what we're gonna do is double click on OBS Studio. And now we can select our loadout right here, live stream or default. We're gonna select live stream and we're gonna click launch and boom, we've got our snap camera. We've got our social stream ninja. We've got our voice mod and we have our streamer bot. Everything that we asked for. 
perfect. Now, needless to say, you can load any application that you choose. You can also close them out just with one single click. It's absolutely amazing. This is a game changer because I used to have to spend 20 minutes and have a full checklist on all the crap that needed to start before I live stream. Now I put it in here and we're all set. Game over. I love this plugin. I told you it was a game changer with just one click of a button. You can have all your stuff open and be ready to stream. How epic is that? Are there plugins that you want to see me cover? Let me know about it down in the comments. And if you want to see the plugins that I never stream without, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.